Damas y caballeros, por Isteca Boxing Promotions presenta este encuentro pactado a cuatro rounds en la división de peso welter. Four rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Your three judges scoring. Los tres jueces, Francisco Pacheco, Sergio Lechuga y Max Zúñiga. Y el tercero en la superficie, your third man inside the ring, Juan Morales Lee. Introducing to your first fighter standing in the blue corner wearing camouflage. His official weight 147 pounds. Y sur presentando a ustedes en la esquina azul vistiendo calzoncillo camuflaje verde con 147 libras. Professional he stands with zero victories and one loss. Cuenta con un récord de cero victorias por una derrota. De Tijuana, Baja California. Miguel Chavez. And his opponent across the ring, standing in the red corner, wearing yellow and black. His official weight, 147 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, vistiendo calzoncillo color amarillo con negro, con un peso de 147 libras. As a professional, he stands with two victories, no losses, and, and his two victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un récord de dos victorias, cero derrotas, y sus dos victorias por la vía del knockout. De San Diego, California, Gutierrez Boxing Club. Adrián Gutierrez. And for final instructions, Juan Morales Lee. Jóvenes, saben las reglas. Mucho cuidado con la cabeza, no atrás del cerebro, no atrás de los riñones y abajo está prohibido. No golpes de revés, con el hombro ni con el codo. Dense la mano, que ganen mejor. Suerte para los dos. Here we go, four rounds in the welterweight division, the money division of boxing. Adrian Gutierrez from San Diego, California in the yellow and black trim. Going up against Miguel Vasquez in the camo trunks. Gutierrez with a record of 2-0, while Vasquez sporting a record of 0-1. And Gutierrez being calm in there, using his jab. Both fighters feeling each other out right now. Yeah, first round, you know, um, you have to go ahead and take it easy, see so what your Gutierrez opponent has. starting to uh, unleash his offense right now, and a flurry of punches that got the attention of Vasquez. Yeah, I think he saw that Miguel Vasquez didn't have too much to offer, go ahead, goes ahead and uh, let's go of his repertoire. Now, if you're taking a look at get Gutierrez and thinking, man, this kid looks really polished as he lands a big right hand. Well, it's because Gutierrez has been boxing for a very long time, and boxing is actually in Gutierrez's blood. His grandfather was a boxer, and his father was a professional boxer, so he's a third-generation boxer. Uh, yes, his father uh, was a professional boxer, 18-0, retired 18-0 due to injury. His grandfather was a boxer, and uh, here we go, Adrian, as, as well as his older brother, boxer as well. So. Boxing definitely runs in the family. As Gutierrez applying the pressure over to Vasquez now. Not giving him much room to move or breathe. As he was doing a good job of cutting off the ring. He's stocking him. Good body shot. Good shot to the liver right there by, by Adrian Gutierrez. Gutierrez popping that double jab. Moving forward. Doing a good job of not only picking off shots from Vasquez, but picking what shots to throw as well as he lands a combination to the top and body. He misses a haymaker right there. And Gutierrez smiling a little bit, knowing that it was a bit of a wild shot. It was, it was. But he just needs to relax, get his jab going. 
And go back to that body, that left hook to the body at, that he threw at the beginning of the round. Excellent. Overhand right. Beautiful Beautiful overhand right. And he follows Beautiful it up with the combination right. of the body. The corner of Miguel imploring him not to get too crazy to calm down a little bit. Keep those hands up. Adrian, Gut Adrian Gutierrez going ahead and switching southpaw. See how, if this works out for him. Yes. Ten seconds left in round number one. As Vasquez coming with a late flurry of punches, Gutierrez smiling off, knowing that he's in control. Uh, Now, Chris, as we segue into round number two, and we saw Gutierrez changing his stances, going from orthodox to southpaw. Is that a smart thing to do as a fighter? Well, the, the reason why he did it, I believe, is that he feels comfortable in there. He was able to, to get away from most of the punches that uh, Miguel Vasquez threw in that round, and it didn't seem to phase him when he turned southpaw. Maybe he was trying to get a different look, trying to land different shots. You know, the one thing that's very apparent right off the bat from looking at both fighters is not only the shape of Gutierrez, but the size of the kid's shoulders. The kid has some big shoulders and certainly gets a lot of torque when he throws his punches because of that. Yeah, definitely. He's got big shoulders, but I also thought you were going to mention his legs. He's got pretty muscular legs as well. Um, definitely bigger than uh, Miguel Vasquez and more toned. And we're going to see if that plays out with the harder punches being landed by Adrian Gutierrez. Are you checking out his legs, dog? Maybe a little. <laughs> As we start round number two here, Adrian Gutierrez. In the center of the ring, using his jab, getting work in against a determined Miguel Vasquez. Vasquez missing with a haymaker just now. Attempting to throw some type of offense, but Runs right into a counter hook and a straight right hand from Gutierrez. And Adrian Gutierrez going back to the body, what he needs to do in this fight. You go to the body, the head will fall. Vasquez, though, showing de determination. You got to think, he's thinking right now, you know what, if you land one on me, I'm going to need to go ahead and land one back on you. Yeah, he's doing a good job trying to use his range. Adrian Gutierrez needs to step forward, use that jab, and set, a get, set up those body shots. That's what he needs to do against the, the, the fighter that's trying to use his legs. You got to take his wheels. As Gutierrez, once again, switching from southpaw to orthodox, now back to orthodox. And I believe that's, this is where he needs to stay. He's a natural right-handed fighter. Go ahead and stay here. That's your best guard. Stay there. Miguel Vasquez not making it easy, using his legs. Adrian Gutierrez needs to cut, cut off the ring and throw to the body. And there he goes, throwing to the body. Beautiful right hand, Adrian Gutierrez. Gutierrez now digging to the body. Lands an overhand right. And now Miguel Vasquez turning southpaw. He's catching those shots, Adrian Gutierrez, and countering very well, using the shoulder roll. So Gutierrez pressing forward, landing the cleaner punches so far overall in the fight. Here we as go. he keeps digging to the body. And Gutierrez trains Beautiful with his movement. father Beautiful full time. Movement. So you would imagine that was probably one of the first things he taught his son is digging to the body like that. Yeah, absolutely. Being a Mexican fighter, his dad being a professional fighter, I'm sure he did tell him, go to the body, go to the body. That's one thing that we learn in the gym. Adrian Gutierrez excelling and, and doing it very well right now. We come now to 10 seconds left in round number two as both fighters exchanging punches. Vasquez coming forward. As we end round number two and a late rally from Vasquez attempting to steal the round, but I think in that round, Gutierrez landing the more quality punches.
definitely he did. He landed the more quality punches. Miguel Vasquez tried to rally at the end of the round, but it wasn't good enough and a little too late. If you're in the corner of Gutierrez and we see his father right there instructing his son, are you liking what you've seen so far from him? Uh, as of right now, I like what I see. He's doing a very good job. He's using his legs when he has to. He shoulder rolled a couple times and countered. The only thing that uh, Miguel Vasquez is making it difficult, he's using his legs a little bit too much for my taste. What Adrian needs to do right now in this round is cut off the ring. He needs to cut off the ring, keep going to the body like he has been to, to cut Miguel Vasquez's wheels. And if he's successful, he should be getting him out of here soon. As we begin round number three, Adrian Gutierrez having a solid first two rounds so far. His second, excuse me, third professional fight here in Tijuana, Mexico. As he continues to move forward though, Vasquez making things a little bit difficult with his movement. Yeah, after having such a long amateur career like Adrian Gutierrez, um, you kind of get thrown offset by getting uh, a quirky guy like uh, Miguel Vasquez. No, certainly he does have an awkward style. You can't really get used to the, the rhythm or, or it takes a while because he's always herky-jerky moving around there. Absolutely, he's very unorthodox and that's always gonna give a guy like Adrian Gutierrez problems because he's so used to seeing such a classic style in front of him. Obviously, this being Gutierrez's third professional fight, his handlers wanna throw him in there with as many possible styles as possible, Chris. Seeing something like that as he lands a big right hand, what does that do for you as a professional fighter, getting to see these different styles, different looks in there while still young in your career? Well, all this is gonna do is just make him grow if he comes out with the, with the victory tonight, make him grow as a fighter, much more experienced and just more mature. You know, he's gonna feel He's going to learn a great deal for, from, this, uh, from this fight right here. As Gutierrez continues to stalk Vasquez moving forward, power jab landed just right now from him. But Vasquez, you can tell in his face, he's determined. There's still fight left in the kid. As and a minute has now passed in this third round. He's still got some wheels on him, and uh, Adrian Gutierrez trying to take him away, keep throwing to that body. That's one more thing that Adrian Gutierrez needs to do is keep throwing that jab. He's, he's concentrating too much on that power that he possesses and forgetting about the basics of boxing. You have to just keep throwing the jab, stick to the basics. Beautiful right hand. Yeah, it was very well placed right hand landed right now by Gutierrez as he lands a jab and he continues to move forward and pressure Vasquez who so far has gas in the tank. It seems as though Gutierrez is getting his rhythm more, landing more shots. Uh, we'll see what the fourth round brings. You, know what? you gotta give Vasquez credit though. As we're looking at him ringside, and you see his eyes and his face, he's determined. He's not just an opponent there to just collect a paycheck. You can see it in him. He wants to win this fight. He's, he's determined. As his coaches are, are cheering him on, giving him good instructions from what we can see here ringside. And you're right. He has that look of determination. He wants to win this fight. But uh, it seems as though Adrian Gutierrez might be up three rounds to zero. Uh, Miguel Vasquez might need a knockout.
Fourth and final round now underway. Adrian Gutierrez, the young kid with the 2-0 record from San Diego, more or less having his way against the tough Miguel Vasquez of Tijuana, Mexico, as both fighters are exchanging punches in the ring, and Gutierrez just letting his hands go, backing Vasquez, and landing some big punches. Like I said in the previous round, uh, Adrian Gutierrez catching his rhythm, getting his rhythm, and he's landing more and more on B Miguel Vasquez. Vasquez, though, trying to mount some offense, throwing some loopy punches, though. All of them blocked by Gutierrez. As Gutierrez doing a good job of slipping punches and countering. Showing his experience right there. With the corner of Vasquez telling him to move out of there, he can't stay there too long because he's gonna be on the receiving end of a lot of these power shots that Gutierrez has been throwing as yeah. he lands a big counter punch right there. And yeah, he pushes you can't Vasquez sit in the forward. Back. You can't sit on the ropes with a type of puncher like Adrian not Gutierrez. Not with a guy like this. Definitely not. He's able to let his hand go. He has power in his punches and he's very fluid. And Vasquez, Trying to throw a haymaker, almost going down to the canvas. Fatigue now setting in the play for him. And Gutierrez sensing that, digging in the body. And those are the body shots from the first and second round. They're getting to him now. Gutierrez now just pot shot Vasquez as Vasquez just wants to get in there and get something in on him. Miguel Vasquez knows he's behind in this fight and has to get a knockout, and he's trying. As both fighters now fighting in close quarters, Gutierrez over the course of the last three rounds doing a good job of mixing it up both to the head and body. And overall, has landed Beautiful the better punches right. as he lands an overhand right, follows it up with body shots. Vasquez there. Still showing some life as he lands a big counter right hand to the young Gutierrez. And the pressure keeps coming from Adrian Gutierrez. He's trying to get his opponent out of there. As we come now to the final 10 seconds of round number four, let's see if Vasquez can survive the round. And Adrian and he Gutierrez. Is able to. What heart from Vasquez. Yes, Tough yes, guy. absolutely. Adrian Gutierrez going four rounds for the first time in his professional career. Damas y caballeros, este combate se ha ido a la distancia de cuatro rounds. Por lo tanto, tenemos la decisión de los jueces. After four rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Los tres jueces, all three judges have scored the same. Tienen la misma puntuación de 40 a 36. 40 to 36. For your winner, by the way, of unanimous decision. Su ganador por la vía de la decisión unánime. Adrián Gutiérrez. Y
Y también el reconocimiento para el tijuanense Miguel Chávez.